there, this is Leah from Mommyish, and today I'm going to have a very short tutorial on how to make sure that you're printing on the right side. Now, if any of you are new to using printables, and especially printables uh, and planners uh, together, you know that sometimes it can be a little frustrating making sure that you have your pages set up in just the right way that when you put them through the printer and then you put them through the printer again, if you don't have a double-sided printer, um, that you've done it the right way. At least I had that problem <laughs> for a while. Um, and so here's a trick. It's, it's really simple, but confusing. It's simple, but confusing. That makes no sense. Okay. So here it is. Yay. I've got a plan. My new, my new thing. Um, <laughs> shameless plug. All right. Um, we're going to go into daily extras. I'm going to go ahead and view very large icons. All right. Now, if I wanted to print off several of my daily pages, as you can see here, I'm going to zoom out a bit, right? Um, a mistake would be to print them all off of this one, um, left orientated page. So what would happen is if I sent this through the printer and I printed off 15 of them and then I flipped them or actually you put them right side up when you want them to print on the back, I put them back in there and print it again. What would happen is that whenever we did a hole punch through on both sides, there are going to be holes that are going through our, um, our design here, our area where we are supposed to be able to, you know, write and put stickers and all that great stuff. This is why in all of my folders, there's a left and a right orientated PDF for you to print off. What that means then is that first, when you print, you're going to do 15 of the left side. And then when you throw it back in the printer again, you're going to go to your right side one and print off 15 of that. What this does then, and if you look in the little window where I'm at, and hopefully this will work. All right. What that does is it allows us to have our little margin area where the hole punch goes through, right? So that way it's not going into any part, any part of this, um, of the design, because you want to maximize the amount of space you have to write. So again, um, this is the right side, this is the left side, and you can tell by the little margins. So this is why in these planners, uh, I have left and right specifically for these insert type pages. Um, the ones that I don't have like that are the calendar because the calendar is set up. Um, so uh, I've actually made these little ones that you see here because it's made for, this would be the back of the page, this is the front. But um, you'd notice that the calendars are set in such a way that when, when you uh, print them off, it'll be an open page spread so you can see the full calendar month. The same thing goes with your weekly spreads. Uh, you have your left and your right, and um, this allows you to op be able to just open it up and then it's going to be perfect every time. So. That's the trick. Now, the thing with your weekly spreads, okay, is that for whatever the, if you're doing a, this one, a do, a do, 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 do this one, yes, Leah makes sense. <laughs> Let's say you have this guy, uh, whatever the opposite is, you know, the, the next side, that's what you're going to want to print on the back, right? So you would print four of these, of, of the left orientated first part of the week. And then you would print on the other side, four of these. And you see how the margin is on the exact opposite side. And it gives you then, I will show you again in the little, if you check me out over here, looking not fabulous. <laughs> um, I'll go to one I haven't doodled in. But you can see there, so here's the front and then the week, but then that's the front page of the next week. So yeah, that's, um, that's what allows you to do it. Now, if you are like me, uh, I recently got a double-sided printer. So what I do is because I have Acrobat Pro, I then create my own PDFs. Now, if you have Acrobat Pro and you've never 
tried to do this, I'm going to do a very quick tutorial, really quick. All you have to do is you select your PNG files, right? So I would take this one and, um, yeah, well, no, actually I would take the week one because that's what we're going to do. We would take the week left and then the week right. Okay. You select your two. Uh, then you, when you right click on it, you should get a option called combine files in Acrobat. So you do that. You just select them. You always make sure you go into here to make sure that the uh, the image quality is the highest possible. That way you get a really clean, pretty print. And then you just click here to combine your files. So what this does is it creates one for us where it has the front and the back together, right? And if you have a double-sided printer, whenever you go to print, you can just, you know, you choose your double-sided printing and you can choose, let's say, I want four copies of this, these two, and it'll print them off perfect. That's how I did mine. It's really, really, really awesome. I really, really love it. Um, so yeah, those, that's my tip trick for today. Um, I hope it's somewhat helpful and not too confusing. Uh, you should also note that the binders actually are, um, not binders, the dividers that I created are also created in the same way where you can print the front and the back and get a divider, as you see here, that has, I keep turning it upside down and all my stickers are going to fall out. Um, so whenever it was, it wouldn't be a blank back page, right? That it would, you know, have something on both sides. So that's it. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I look forward, if you are making anything with this collection, just if you're going to be on Instagram, tag me. You can tag me at mommyish.designs or um, tag me on Facebook, mommyish. And uh, I, I'd love to see you and leave a comment. So have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.